from the newsroom at news.com.au. Well, Australia's most wanted man, Graham Potter, has been arrested. The 64-year-old, who's been on the run for 12 years, was arrested yesterday morning at a house in far north Queensland. Stay there. Do not move. This is the police. Do not move. Put your hands where I can see them. Potter disappeared in 2010 when he was due to appear in court charged with conspiracy to murder. To New South Wales now and commuters in Sydney are in store for another day of disruptions. It's been announced that scaled back train services will operate across all lines today at a 30 minute frequency. Travellers have been told to avoid the train and find alternative travel options if possible. It comes after all trains were cancelled yesterday following a stoush between the union and the state government. In other news, Australian television executive Neil Balnaves has died in a boating accident in Tahiti aged 77. Mr Balnaves was a former chair of the Ardent Leisure Group who brought shows including Blue Heelers, Water Rats and Big Brother to Aussie screens. Overseas now and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced all COVID restrictions will be scrapped in the UK later this week. From this Thursday 24th of February, we will end the legal requirement to self-isolate following a positive test. Mr Johnson also announced that contract tracing will stop this week and access to free home testing kits will cease from April 1st. To entertainment, Kyle and Jackie O have revealed that they banned one of the Friends stars from their Kiss FM radio show after a bad interview. But remember when we had Matt LeBlanc on and, oh, oh that didn't go well. That was for Top Gear didn't years go ago. Well. Didn't and go well. It was well. a terrible interview, but he's n- notoriously bad in Who interviews. cares? He was very arrogant and then he had to get hung up on and then sworn at and then banned for ever coming back again. Worst interview oh, in the world. Oh, my poor Joey. And finally, Britney Spears is said to have signed a book deal worth $20 million. She'll write a tell-all memoir about her career, her conservatorship and her family. It's believed to be one of the biggest book deals of all time, but not quite as big as Barack Obama's deal. He was allegedly paid $83 million to write his memoir. Your update from news.com.au.